Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Ravers Mead. Welcome back to a gorgeous morning here. Look at the sky. It's so pretty down here. It's a full moon as well. That is the moon behind me, not the sun. <laughs> oh, uh, it's chilly today. It is minus five. Oh, that's looking promising. So they're just eating their breakfast. I've had to bring some boiling water down this morning and a flask to do their mash with. So they have, um, I think it's called fiber beet they have. It's like a sugar beet alfalfa plus other stuff kind of blend. Um, they really enjoy it. And at this time of year, obviously because you have to soak, soak it, it freezes. So that was frozen solid when I got down here. So I've had to put some boiling water on that. Um, so they're happy, they've got their breakfast. I'm just coming out here into the field. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I hope the audio for this is going to be salvageable because that motorway is just bellowing right now. I just, I hate that thing so much. <laughs> I'm just coming out here in the field, have a little walk around, see if we can maybe have 20 minutes of turnout. And oh, I don't know. I mean, I've just managed to do that. So it's not a hard, hard frost. I don't know. I just don't know. If they'll just come out and be sensible, it'll be fine. But if they come out and start hooning around, maybe I can let them out one at a time. I would like them to have a little bit of, a little bit of field time. Um, just because they go a bit stir crazy in the winter. I mean, I know we have, we have our turnout yard, which is great. So they get outside time, but it's just not the same to a horse. Like they want to be out on the grass. So do you know what? I'm just going to go for it. Blueberry, would you like to come out for a little bit? Hang on, let me open the gate. Let me open the gate. There we go, darling. Go and have a little leg stretch. Oh yeah, it's not that hard of a frost. Oh, he's so happy with the grass. Is that nice? Is that yum yum? Yeah, he's not got shoes on. He is probably, well, he's not got shoes on, but he is actually the heaviest footed horse we have, oddly enough, um, which is one of the reasons that he explodes his feet all of the time. I'm just gonna leave him out there for a little bit. Looks like he's more interested in eating. So I'm thinking if I do sort of rotate them out one at a time, give them like 10, 15 minutes each, I think we might be able to get away with this. Oh no, he's hooning. <laughs> Are you playing? Are you making some funny shapes? Oh, just look how gorgeous it is out here though. Oh, off he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Steady up, go. Are you having fun? Well, he looks happy, <laughs> very happy bluezer. And that's that's what they don't get to have when they're in this little yard. The, I mean, we have a bit of a surface out here, but it's not really the kind of surface they can play on. I've got a bit of a runny nose, guys, sorry. It's, um, actually, I'm not even sure if it's a runny nose. I think it might be condensation from where I'm breathing. Oh, sorry, T, nearly squished you then. Right, okay. Oh, I'm surprised these two aren't kicking off a little bit. I don't think uh, Stumps is any the wiser as to what's going on. I don't think I'm going to put Stumpy out there. I think Stumpy can come out here on the driveway. Just because she's such a little antagonist and I do not want her winding the big horses up and getting them hooning around even more. So, 
So for anyone who ever wonders why we have these pieces of um, rope across our yard every morning, this is Blue's little like funnel or chute or whatever you want to call it. So the turnout yard just behind us, um, and obviously his stable is there. And he goes out at night because he can, oh, my focus on my camera's going all funny there. Come on, little guy, you can do this. Come on, Kevin. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, um, we like him to have access to the yard at night because he can't go out with the other horses and socialize because he gets a bit uh, silly. Um, but also we like him to be, have the option of going in his stable just because he's got quite sensitive skin. We don't want him to be caught out in the rain or anything like that. So we like to give him the option. Um, and the only way we can really do that is by swinging the gate open and letting him come in and out. Uh, the downside with that is if he can get to the other horses, which happened a few times in the past before we came to this solution. He kind of harassed them in the night and there was a bit of bit of an issue going on. I think Nelly kicked a hole in her stable wall where he was bullying her and Woodster doesn't mind so much because he's such a placid dude, but it just, it was chaos. So we have two bits of rope across our yard, one from, one from this side of his stable door and one from the other side of his stable door just to stop him from going off everywhere and harassing everyone. And it also stops him from wandering off and breaking everything. It minimizes what he can get out to destroy, which is a good thing when you own a horse like Blue because he likes to break everything. <laughs> He's so handsome. Just look at him. Oh, he was, he was jumping up and down like an Arctic fox then. You know how the foxes, they kind of jump on the snow when they can hear something underneath. He was doing that. What you doing, handsome? Are you digging holes? Don't dig holes, monkey. Aren't you a lucky boy, huh? Anybody think you haven't seen grass in the last decade? Whoops! <laughs> Careful! You nearly killed Kevin! Oh dear, we're all steamed up now. <laughs> It's cold. <laughs> it's so chilly. Oh, I've got so many layers on today. Oh, right. So, all my water's frozen, I think. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. So last night, um, last night, obviously, because we knew it was going to freeze, we filled up a load of water butts ready. So we've got these two big blue ones here, plus that one filled up ready. Um, and that's that's just because our tap has a tendency to freeze. The one thing I am like wondering about is how this is going to respond to frost. Um, there is a little bit of water in here still, but ah uh, yeah, as I suspected, the tap is completely frozen up. And that, yeah, that feels pretty frozen. So. I didn't think that the tank was going to be a viable option during the frost. Maybe we can get some sort of cover on it to stop it from freezing. I don't know. I think you can get covers for those things. Oh, my buckets are frozen together. <laughs> oh, winter wonderland, people. Doesn't it look lush out here, though? Like, seriously, it looks so pretty. I mean, just look at everything. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's put me in a really good mood for the day. Um, okay, I'm going to try and separate my buckets. Who blues water? He can come in now. Um, he's had about 20, 25 minutes out there. That's all he's going to get, unfortunately, because I just haven't got that much time in the morning. I'm going to get Woody and Nell out for a leg stretch. Get Little Pony down here on the driveway where she can poon around to her heart's content and hopefully not wind the others up. And uh, yeah, I need to get those staples done. <laughs> But one thing I've just noticed, I did a bit of a boo-boo last night when I was washing the buckets. Uh, so I've got this big old ice slick running down my driveway now. Uh, yeah, whoops, I poured the water buckets down there last night. I didn't even think about it. And within about 10 minutes of me pouring it there, it was frozen, so. Oopsie, better be careful with that. Right, let's go get, go get the blueberry in. Do you know what? Just come to my senses. I just realized it's blue I'm going to get. I was just going to walk out there and grab him and balk him in like I would with the others, but it's blue. So I'm going to put Kevin down. 
for safety reasons, because it's blue. And I'm gonna go get the head collar like a responsible adult, because it's blue. <laughs> I regret my decision to put that horse out here. Because now he won't be caught. <sighs> Why does he do this to me? Oh, there you go, he's running again, look. Sees me coming, and he runs. You're coming in one way or another, mister. Taz, careful. Come on, you can't stay out here all day. And I'm really regretting my decision now. Oh, can I drive it? Can I drive it? Go, go, ah, oh, it's too slow. Oh. All right. I'm gonna put you guys down and see if I can drive him in. This could take some time. Time that I don't really have this morning. <laughs> <coughs> oh wow, look at these frosticles on the fence. I don't even know if you can see that very well. That is really cute. I do like a bit of frost, it's very nice. It's a very nice change from all the uh, the wet and gloom that we get in the UK. <sighs> okay. Oh, come on, Kevin. Don't fail me now. All right. All right, let's see if I can drive the little bugger in. Gate open nice and wide. Right, come on, off to bed. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, I haven't sprinted like that in a while. <laughs> right. Take two, are you ready, madam? Yes, let's walk out sensibly. Come on, let me have your nose. Yeah, I, I need to reopen the gate, hang on. Oh, the disappointment. <laughs> All right, hang on. Go on then. My scarf keeps unraveling. <sighs> Nelly, the gate's open now. Go. Oh, how to make a horse's day. Let them out in the field. Right, come on, sausage. Your turn. Try not to pull a shoe again, dude. <laughs> Gently. Up, Nelly. <laughs> right, let's get that gate out of their way. Steady up, bird. My super technical gate holder backer there. One more thing I do need to do before I start mucking out again is, oh, my focus has gone funny again. All right, stumps. Let's take you down the driveway. Don't run away. Oh, there's 
Good girl. Good girl. All right, off you go, babe. Good job. Mind yourself on that ice. Because the human made a boo-boo. Okay, now it's time to muck out. <laughs> so I'm just checking all the water now actually, because um, I got distracted taking photos and I haven't finished my mucking out yet. And I thought to myself, right, let's, let's reprioritize the jobs. Let's check everyone's water. Ooh. Oh, why? Look at that. I feel like I might need to take another picture now. Because that's really cute. <laughs> Frost is pretty. Uh, anyway, back to the task at hand. Water. Um, that's very frozen. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's that solved. Uh, pig needs a top up, that's for sure. So, I have a ridiculous problem right now. My knife. It's frozen! So I can't get the blade out! So I can't open another bale of haylage. Oh. Why do these things happen? <laughs> I might have to, um, I might have to give them hay. At least I can kind of wriggle the string off of the hay bales. Oh. Dang! <laughs> I know, I'm fogged up again. <laughs> when Nelly sees food, huh? Bless you, babe. Good girl for coming in. All right, I think. Oh, my morning's fallen apart now. I spent too much time admiring the frost and watching the ponies play, and now I'm going to be pushing it to get everything done. <laughs> right, let's bit of haylage out. Let's go see if I can grab some. Grab some hay. I have no knife to cut the hay with either, but I should be able to wriggle. Should be able to wriggle the strings off. Some of the bales are quite loose, so hopefully. Uh, nope, that's a tight bale. Come on, I need a loose bale here, people. Taz, that's not helping, dude. Yeah, there's one string. Oh, that was snug. Right. Yeah. Hey, yep, there we go. Great. <sighs> what are you doing, dude? You're such a little barn dog. Happy? Oh, we're liking the hay more than the haylage, are we? Okay. Happy, mister? Okay, happy horses. See, that's that's how the normal horses here behave. I just, you know, I asked them to come in and they come in. In fact, I didn't even get to asking them to come in. They just knew that because I was putting food in the yard, it was time to come in. They get ponies. Blues are on the other hand, bless him. He likes to give me the run around. He's a cheeky boy. Um, I think he knows he can get away with it because he knows he's brilliant. Right. Okay, I think that's about, oh, I better shut that other gate, otherwise I'll be through there today, making a mess. I think that's just about me done. I think I'm about out of time. I'm not sure if my alarm's gone off. Yeah, my alarm's gone off in my pocket, so. Time to get changed, head back, and uh, get myself ready for work. Thank you for hanging out with me this morning, guys, on this gorgeous frosty winter morning here at Raver's Mead. I hope you enjoyed it um, and I'll see you all in our next video. Bye. Come on Stamps. Come on pretty girl. Good girl.